Hi Mary, I'm Jasmine, a Goldsworth Girl Scout, and I just wanted to congratulate you as a Woman of Distinction honoree. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. So one question that I have for you is, what barriers have you overcome as a woman entering a male-dominated career path? I think there are some really big barriers that we hear about and we talk about all the time in the industry. I think one that I've personally struggled with has been salary. You know, we hear a lot in the media about this wage gap, but I think uh, it always comes down to, you know what, you are really worth a lot more than you think you are. This is where it's really important in the industry to get mentors so that they can let you know what your worth is in the industry. And you know what? You always increase that when you go into that negotiation. When you go in to interview for a position, they always want to know what your previous base salary was. So right from the get-go, if you kind of undervalue yourself, even in those first positions that you take, that can have a far-reaching effect on the rest of your career. So, you know, some of the advice I might give would be to believe in yourself that you are worth more than you think you're worth and just to go for it. How can girls prepare themselves for careers in STEM? In addition to studying, I think it's important to find something you're really passionate about. When I first began my journey into where I'm at now in cybersecurity, I actually started out with civil engineering. But as I started working in the field and started taking the classes, I found that my passion was really with computers. So really, as you're picking your field and what it is that you want to go into, find what aspect of STEM, what are you passionate about? What do you look forward to doing? And that will really help you succeed as you progress throughout your life and your career. How did you break into a career in cybersecurity? Well, I started out with civil engineering. So I was actually working at an engineering firm. Uh, my manager there knew that I switched majors to computer science and actually found room for me in the IT department. Uh, I was in the IT industry probably for about mm, 10 years. And of course, being a woman, uh, one of the issues is, you know, I wanted to have children and I wanted to stay home and raise my children. So as part of that, I stayed at home, but I also ran my own business. Wow, I think that that's really inspiring, especially how you were able to raise your kids and start your family while also being a businesswoman. And I can relate to that because I want to become an entrepreneur. And I know how sometimes it's very hard to prioritize different things. So how long have you been a Girl Scout? Right now, I am an ambassador Girl Scout in my final year. And I've actually been a Girl Scout for six, coming on seven years. Wow, that is incredible. Um, how has the Girl Scouts impacted your life? Great question. Um, the most crucial skills that I've learned as a Girl Scout would definitely be resilient. Um, this Girl Scout experience has um, taught me how to grow more as a person, and it's encouraged me to network with community peers and get myself out there more, especially because I'm very introverted and I don't like to speak. I've also grew very confident in public speaking and getting to know other people. And I wish that all Girl Scouts could have such a great experience and learn skills such as those. You know, you mentioned earlier that uh, you wanted to run your own business and you were interested in entrepreneurship. And I can tell you as having my own company, you mentioned networking and public speaking. Both of those things will go such a long ways for you in developing and growing a business. Um, being an entrepreneur means wearing a lot of hats, which means bringing in business, meeting clients, building relationships, and it sounds like a lot of the skills that you're learning in the Girl Scouts will really help you achieve those goals. Thank you. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about the Gold Award Project, what that is all about? I heard uh, that you started an after-school program called Fun Up STEM, and this sounds so exciting. So as a little girl, I was very studious. Of course, I was introverted. And I often use my connection with reading and writing as a creative outlet. So for Fun Up STEM, my um, idea for initiating the project was to provide that same lo love of learning for younger children as well. And throughout the course of my project, I taught students about science, technology, engineering, and math, 
through the use of toys and experiments in order to keep them more engaged. That sounds incredible and it's really exciting to see uh, what is going on with the youth of America that you know, you're playing a key role in making a difference and make, making a difference and making an impact when it comes to STEM and everything moving forward. It's just been so wonderful talking to you and learning all about you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very humbled to be speaking to you.